The Competition Commission has asked schools and parents to report suppliers who appear to be unfairly pricing school uniforms. Schools are now no longer allowed to force parents to buy uniforms from a specific supplier. The Competition Commission says schools should appoint more than one supplier to give parents more options. But as schools open this week, a new survey by credit bureau TPN shows that a growing number of parents with children at school paying public schools find they can no longer afford school fees. Now, how much has uh, that got to do with the price of school uniforms? Well, Competition Commissioner Tim Inkosi Bonakele joins me now. Uh, Commissioner, thanks very much indeed uh, for talking to us. So, uh, last year you released these guidelines, uh, the number of, of guidelines. Uniforms should be as generic as possible. You've pointed out schools cannot force parents to buy from a particular store. I mean, the idea, of course, Commissioner, is to get more suppliers to sell the same uniform. Is it working or is it too soon to tell? We've started to see dif differences. Uh, we, we, we've started to see that uh, a lot of schools uh, have more than one supplier for, for uniform. Uh, many of them are starting to prescribe uh, generic, generic T-shirts, generic socks, where previously they had, uh, they had uh, these uh, exclusive suppliers. Uh, so, so we're starting to, to see that, uh, but, but it's not enough. Uh, hence, today we issued the statement that you referred to, which is really about advocacy and awareness, but also about enforcement, I should emphasize, because we do say in the statement that those suppliers and schools that uh, fail to adhere to these guidelines are risking contravening the Competition Act. Uh, and we, we are now at a stage where we are prepared to prosecute schools. Uh, as well as suppliers. You, you've said in that press release a note that parents should be vigilant. They should identify when prices appear to be un, unfairly priced against them. And how easy is it, though, Commissioner, to actually identify when something just doesn't seem right here in terms of pricing? I mean, what should parents really look out for there? <laughs> It's the old, the old uh, 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 fashion way of uh, shopping around and looking at prices. Uh, and and uh, I think if you look for uh, uh, prices at the, uh, often the suppliers recommended by the schools, uh, what we're saying now is you must go beyond that and go to uh, your regular stores and look at what prices uh, are like there. And if you are prevented from buying in regular stores because your school has prescribed uniform that cannot be found anywhere else but in one place, then there is potentially a problem. Mm. Uh, and, and, and on that point, I suppose it's related, yeah, there are still some jaw-dropping prices at school shops, for example, where the uniforms are not as generic as we would want them to be. So prices are high. You've mentioned part of this in your first answer, Commissioner, but how do we get around that, the fact that, you know, uniforms are still pretty much uh, specific and not as generic as we want them to be? Because that's where the prices come in, doesn't, don't they? Yes, that's, that's, that's going to be really the struggle over the next coming weeks, months, and even possibly years. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a something that we are looking at as the Commission, as I say, we're prepared to enforce it. Uh, but also, I think, is something that parents, uh, as well as uh, governing bodies, need to be seized with. Uh, that Because uh, uniform is prescribed at a school level. Uh, so parents are very much involved in that, and uh, uh, the departments of education don't really impose uh, what type of school uniform uh, uh, kids should wear. Uh, and, and we have also in our guidelines allowed uh, that sort of flexibility. If so, for an example, they want to have a particular blazer with, a, with an emblem, we can't stop them from doing that. But uh, when these decisions are made at a school level, uh, hopefully the parents will be there and they will take into account the impact of all of these uh, prescriptions. On, on pricing. Uh, so we say they must be as generic as possible, uh, but we also leave it to parents to decide 
when they want to have that particular kind of identity for their old school they can do that uh, but but they must be they must be mindful of of course all right we'll have to leave it there competition commissioner uh, Timbin Kosi Bonakela thanks very much indeed uh, for talking to us